Hi everybody, welcome back to House Heart Home or welcome if you're new. Today's video is what I eat in a day and uh, today's video is extra special because it is in collaboration with my dear YouTube friend Navkor. Uh, she was one of my first collabs uh, together uh, and we've been friends ever since and it's so nice to get together with her again. She makes content on lifestyle, self-growth and also travel vlogs. She's actually doing Vlogmas over on her channel. She has videos Monday to Friday and today she's also doing what she eats in a day. So once you're done watching my channel, definitely head on over to her channel and watch her video. She works full time and she's also managing to do Vlogmas, which is very inspiring. I'll leave all of her channel information down in the description box. And I'll also leave an iCard up here that you can click. And if you're coming over today from Navcourse channel, then welcome guys. So good to have you all. My name is Sahana and I make mom life videos, cleaning, cooking, organization, makeovers and so much more. So if you're interested in today's video and you would like to watch more of my content, then definitely subscribe down below. It's just two free clicks. So today's video, as you guys know, is what I eat in a day. Now, uh, I have been for a month now, I've been trying to do intermittent fasting just to improve my health because uh, I read online it has lots of health benefits. I'm not always strict, but most days I'm doing it. And because of that, I'm only eating two meals a day and um, try not to snack too much. Even my coffee tea intake is very limited. So today you'll see in the video um, a breakfast recipe and a lunch. And I've also included a bonus recipe for you guys in the end. Let's start with breakfast. Now, breakfast, I usually love to have smoothies. I recently started it and I love it. It's so filling. It is very nutritious and gives me my fiber, protein and vitamins and it keeps me full. So I love my smoothies. That's what I'm going to show you today. So this is the protein powder that I like to use. It's very low on sugar. I think just one gram of sugar, natural sweetener. I use one banana and fruits of my choice for that day, strawberry or blueberry. And here is some frozen spinach. This is what gives it the green color that I love. And uh, I use unsweetened almond milk for my smoothies. I like to go non-dairy. And uh, for seeds of today's choice is chia seeds and sesame seeds. These change. Sometimes it's hemp seeds, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, whatever I like to add. And then I'll blend it all up. So for lunch, typically we are South Indians, so we love to have rice. It's either red rice or brown rice or white rice with some kind of curry and like a vegetable side dish to go with it. If I'm not eating rice for lunch, then it'll usually be roti and some curry. In today's uh, video, I'm going to show you guys a very healthy recipe. It has the protein, it has the fiber, it has all the nutrients. It's a balanced dish. It's a state dish from where my husband comes from, Karnataka. So it is called Bisi Bele Bath. So Bisi literally means hot. Hot as in the temperature hot, not the spicy hot, but it is also spicy hot. 
<laughs> it's like the dish is hot but busy literally means hot to the touch and bele is uh, lentils and bath is like a rice dish usually with you know spices mixed in and stuff so busi bele bath is a rice lentil dish with vegetables that's what we're going to see how to make now so here i've taken 1 cup of soy dal and 1 cup of brown rice you can do half cup each uh, to make it 1 cup in total but i like to have leftovers for the next day so i usually take 1 cup of each uh, and then some tamarind soaked in hot water This is the vegetables combo that I've taken for this dish. It usually goes very well, pairs well. Um, some bell peppers, frozen peas, potato, carrot, and beans, cut up into small chunks. I have some peanuts here, soaking raw peanuts. Both my husband and me, we love peanuts in this dish, so I have it. You can leave it out if you want; it's optional. And then you need this spice powder, which is called Bisi Bele Bath powder. This is how you get it in the stores in Indian stores. And this is a very uh, like an intense spice blend that has a lot of different spices together and gives a beautiful taste. an aroma to this dish and then you need a uh, half an inch or an inch piece jaggery to balance the spice and the sourness in the dish and uh, now let's begin so i add a little bit of ghee into a pressure cooker it's good to cook this in a pressure cooker uh, because it's faster add a few cloves and a inch piece of cinnamon and then i'm adding half a tomato or one small tomato chopped We're not going to cook too much because we're going to pressure cook everything together. It's a one pot meal, so we'll just sauté it a little bit and then add the veggies to it. And the veggies don't have to cook fully. And stir that for two to three minutes, adding some salt as needed. Then I'm adding the soaked peanuts. So meanwhile you can wash and soak the rice and dal and keep it aside before beginning all this and the peanuts also you can soak it before chopping up all the vegetables now i'm just extracting the tamarind pulp then i'll filter it and add it before that we're adding about i would say 4 tablespoons of this bisibele bath powder 4 to 6 tablespoons i would say uh depending on how spicy you want and once that's mixed up just 2 to 3 minutes we saute everything and then we can add in the tamarind pulp also i wanted to mention that this is a no onion no garlic recipe you can add grate a little bit of fresh ginger i didn't have it on this day so i didn't add it but you can add a little bit of grated fresh ginger it gives a beautiful flavor some people do add onions to it but i prefer to not add any onion or garlic and it's yummy have a taste to see how the spice and the sourness and the salt is all balanced and uh, then we can add in the rice and the lentils that have been soaking mm that looks so yummy delicious the aroma is amazing you have to try this out guys if you haven't now we add water so the vegetables need water the rice and dal need water because it's brown rice it takes in more water than regular white rice so and this dish usually is a bit on the watery side because the spice mixture has lentils that usually thicken up the the rice bath very quickly so we keep we make it a little bit on the watery side so i would say add about 6 to 8 cups of water now i'm adding the jaggery half an inch piece or an inch and then once that dissolves you can have a final taste with the water and add more salt if necessary and this is how it's a looking before i close the pressure cooker you can also do this in your instant pot if you want to cook it on an open pan pot then i would say boil everything separately and then just mix it all together in an open pot and we just leave it to cook for about 4 uh, to 5 whistles i would say uh in the pressure cooker in the indian pressure cooker <laughs> and here is the final result 
it's mouth watering guys and it pairs so well with some potato chips so there i have it on the side and it's yummy you can have this for breakfast or lunch or dinner it's just so healthy and nutritious and it was so yummy So that's my breakfast and lunch dishes and now we'll get on into the bonus recipe that I said I'll include. This is a moong lentil curry and it's very nutritious, again very tasty. It is very well paired with rice or chapatis, roti or you can just even eat it by itself. So chop up one medium onion. I'm using a prestige food veggie chopper here. It makes it so quick in 5-10 seconds you have chopped up a whole onion, finely diced it and uh, you can save yourself from some tears. So again to a pressure cooker add some mustard seeds, cumin seeds, curry leaves and one green chili. And once when that splutters, add the onion and saute it for three to four minutes. And then we add some ginger garlic paste. And when that is cooking, let's chop up two small tomatoes. Again, in the foot chopper, it is so quick. And let's add that to the onion mixture that's cooking and saute it for three to four minutes. And then let's add salt as per taste, a teaspoon of turmeric powder, half a teaspoon of coriander seed powder and one teaspoon of cumin seed powder. To this I'm also adding one tablespoon of frozen grated coconut. It gives such a good flavor. Mix it all up and here is the green moong beans that I had soaked overnight and left it one day covered with a muslin cloth and you can see tiny sprouts that have come up and this is so packed with nutrition and full of protein. So we'll rinse that and then add it to the onion tomato mixture and we're going to add one and a half cups of water just so it covers the dal. And moong dal cooks very quick, so I would say leave it on for two or three whistles max. And it easily gets mushed because it's already been soaked and sprouted. And here is how the dal dish turned out. So we've come to the end of today's video guys that's how what i eat in a day looks like right now if at all i feel like having tea in the evening then i'll have a cup of tea with some snacks um if not that's very 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 rare i hope you guys enjoyed seeing these recipes definitely do try them out and let me know how they turned out and comment below which was your favorite recipe have you ever tried Bisi Bele Baat? If you have, then comment down below and where you tried it for the first time and how you liked it. And definitely head on over to Navcore's channel to watch her video. Her video link is down in the description box. Till I see you guys next time, fill your home with lots of love. Bye guys.